You might be a little taken aback and wondering what the heck just transpired if you've just completed watching Top Boy Season 3 on Netflix. There are significant spoilers in this if you haven't finished watching the episode. Sully murdered Dushane after killing Kiron for lying to him about who had taken his narcotics, and Steph approached Sully with the intention of killing him but ultimately decided he wasn't worth it and let him live. As he smiles to himself behind the wheel of his Audi, Sully actually has the final laugh of the series since all of his opponents have been eliminated. Or at least that's what he believes since in the very last scene of Top Boy, a man in a black jacket shoots Sully through the window of his car. But who actually killed Sully? Who was Sully's killer in Top Boy? The million dollar question is that. Many fans thought Dushane would kill Jack or Sully, however Jack was in her safe place back at home with her partner when Sully was slain, and Dushane was already dead. Steph is a likely candidate since he was close to the site had the necessary tools, and had recently vowed to shoot Sully in retaliation for the death of his brother Jamie. However, based on what little we saw of the gunman, we can rule out Steph because the attacker didn't resemble him in the least. The guy who killed Sully briefly appeared on TV but said nothing at that time. They just approached Sully's vehicle, shot him once in the head through the driver's side window, and then continued walking. All we know about the killer is that he seemed to be male, had dark blonde hair, and was dressed in a black jacket. In order to demonstrate that Sully had amassed so many enemies as he rose through the criminal underworld at Summer House to become the top boy, his killer purposefully chose to remain unidentified. This was done to show that he would never be safe. This doesn't really narrow it down because it means that Sully's killer may be anyone who has a grievance against him. In the first four seasons of Top Boy alone, Sully had murdered seven individuals, including Driss, a buddy who had turned against Summerhouse, and rival criminal Jamie. Sully kills two Irish thugs, Johnny and his uncle Tag, in the last season of the program, adding even more lethal names to his list of victims. Sully's killer could have been a buddy of one of the other victims he had slain. Because the assailant didn't resemble C and because C had shown himself to be a coward when Sully faced him in the final episode of the season, it wasn't C who had been suggested earlier in the season as a potential opponent to take on Sully. The two most likely parties to have been involved in Sully's murder are rival gang members hoping to gain notoriety by assassinating the current top lad and contacts of the Irish criminals whom he and Dushane eliminated. In the end, it's unlikely that Sully's killer will ever be identified, and that's the purpose. What is certain is that Sully's sins eventually caught up with him in some way. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.